There you go. Swap me. Hi. I'm Rachel. There we go. Welcome to our Wednesday night live stream. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have a slightly adventurous day you'll be alerted to it. So we are live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Thank the Lord we made it to Pennsylvania, back to Pennsylvania. It was an interesting day. It was. So uh, this morning I was trying, oh, I know, it was the alarm keypad falling because okay. I only I only used uh, uh, VM tape to put it up, v VHB tape to put it up. I didn't want to screw into the wall, but I may have to screw right. into the wall. Um, anyway. So we had a, we were trying to get our video up this morning before we left. We got out of there. We took some nice scenic roads through Port Jervis, uh, down windy roads. Great drive. Beautiful. Until we stopped at a gas station. Yes. And I had, for the first time in four years, a sort of major incident. Not a major incident. Not like an end your camping career incident. But I, I jumped the curb as I was turning in just a little bit. You know? Just you enough. see the curb and you make that turn and you're like, I can go nice and slow and I won't affect anything. But I forgot we have rear stabilizer jacks because we have auto level and the jacks like sit down and the edge of the jack clipped the curb just enough to bend the bracket that holds the jack just ever so Ooh. slightly. And I noticed it because whenever we stop, I do a walk around and I noticed it. Fortunately, we uh, called ahead. We found a welder about 20 miles away from where we're at. Curtis. Uh, I don't I, remember. Curtis is welding. Cur yes. And uh, we Mobile stopped welder. about an hour and a half. Um, we were able to basically cut the bracket off, straighten it, put it back on. Good as hopefully that is not going to the last incident I ever had. God bless I Curtis. For, I forgot the thing was there. Then here's the best part. So I said, how much do I owe you? He goes, well, I charge $60 an hour, which is way too cheap for a welder. We were so thankful that he was open. Like, yeah. seriously. Yeah. He's like, come on by. And uh, so. We went to his house. He's like an hour and 40 minutes. So he goes, how about a hundred bucks? I'm like, how about I give you 150? He's like, I'm not taking 150. A hundred. I'm like, I'm trying to give you more money. You, you really, you really helped this out. I mean, we could have kept camping without it. We just wouldn't be able to use that one particular stabilization jack. He was like, no. But he wouldn't take my extra money. So God bless him. God bless him. So anyway, then we got here and somehow they switched our site. We're supposed to have sewer. We don't have sewer, which is not a big deal. We'll just hold it until if, Sunday. If, if, if we put 45 gallons in, in three days, four days, Something's medically wrong with us. We've been on RV Unplugged we went season two. We went 12 days and, and we did not fill our black tank. So I'm not worried about four days. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, me too. So anyway, uh, welcome to our live stream. Sorry, we're doing it on Wednesday because my mom is going to head down here tomorrow. So exciting. And uh, we're going to go see, what are we going to see? We're supposed to go see South Pacific. South Pacific at the Fulton Theater. And then let us know in the comment section, anybody who's ever been to Lancaster, there's other theaters here. We wanted to go see Daniel, but it's sold out. Sold out. So there's another theater called like the Big Apple Theater. It's like a dinner and a show. And we were going to take her to see that on Friday. Is and that any good? It's ragtime. And it also includes dinner. And the dinner is like prime rib, carved prime rib, all you can eat buffets. So. You have my attention. <laughs> and then on Saturday, uh, we're trying to find some people who want to meet for like lunch slash dinner at one of the local buffets. So if you're interested, please send us a message. Probably on, on I would say, because Rachel doesn't check her emails and I miss things all the time. Do check. Um, Mr. <laughs> right underneath the bus. I do check my I emails. I miss them. So you're better than me. Mighty Networks Mighty is the Mighty Networks place. is the best place to get a hold of us. 
So yeah, because we're going to take mom to see South Pacific tomorrow, we're going to do our live stream tonight. Let's jump right in. If you are Scare new here, this. our Thursday live streams are all about just hanging out with subscribers, answering questions. If you have a question, you can ask pretty much anything within reason. Um, if you have a question, type question and then whatever your question is, or you can use the super chat function. That's the dollar sign dot in the chat down in the chat window that highlights my screen, lets us know that you have a question. So Matt's got a question. Don't miss it. Matt said, Hey, Joe, are you sure you want to take Rachel to a musical? She'll sing all the songs. I will. You I don't think she knows the songs for these, though. For South Pacific? Yes, I know some songs from South Pacific. What about Ragtime? I don't know about Ragtime. Okay. Let's, let's see. <laughs> One of those things is, you know, sometimes you go and you see a movie or you see a show and you're like, you know a song, but you're like, I don't know where it's from. Like, there's a lot of songs that maybe you just, you're like, I know that song. Ooh, the chat doesn't want to come up here. Where so is it we're from? just going to read it over here. Okay. Okay, we're going to back up a little bit. A lot of back people saying up. hello. Donna Jo said, hey again, still working on organizing cabinets, but took a break for dinner, a cerulean with butter and sour cream. Yum. Making a keto child banana cream. We introduced my mom to creamies yesterday. She had her first creamy yesterday, and then she had a creamy this morning for breakfast. Jen said, I tried making a chewy candy using black workers keto char. I've not mastered the texture quite yet. I have goop. I don't know how to do that. I, I've We've done like different we did gummies, gummies. But I have not done that yet. Uh, let's see. Matt and Sarah had a date day today. They went to the Magic Kingdom. They were going to a Brazilian steakhouse. And I think they might be up to like their own bonsai tree farm by this point, maybe five, five bonsai trees. When we were um, in New York, we went to the most beautiful um, nurseries that had spring in just full blossom. My mom is way into planting gardens. So gorgeous. We saw all, you know what my, my favorite was? Weeping roses. There was like weeping roses, weeping cherries. I, weeping roses, weeping hearts. Weeping, no, it was weeping cherry trees. Oh, oh yes, and but there was another cut, some kind oh, of hearts things that Terry really likes, and the deer bleeding don't hearts. Eat, bleeding hearts, and the deer don't eat them. So gorgeous. Uh, let's see. Nancy said hello from Ontario, Canada. Hey, see Nancy. You guys next month cruising. Woohoo! Uh, hey, by the way, Donna, I sent you a message about the two KK getaway cruise. I don't know if you saw it, but I did respond to you. Oh, I'm glad you said that because she mentioned it during the premiere. Yeah, I did. Um, I did email you about. Uh, you said you want to do a next cruise, but I. Anyway, read the email. We do still have some openings on the 2KK cruise. I have like three reservations I need to enter into the system, but I also know about them, so I'm holding those spots. So Come sail with they're us. They're not going away. I just have not actually entered it into the system because time with mom is precious. And, and that kind of- We just absolutely shut down. Like we've been doing, I've been making posts every day in like the Meadheads group and probably for the last couple of days, it's like, where did Rachel go? Number one, so, like service was not fantastic and then number two we were with joe's mom and we hadn't seen her for two years almost three three years 2021 is when we saw yeah her. may of 2021 so really summer. glad for this time together yeah and i'm excited that her and terry are going to come down we're going to spend a couple days in lancaster i'm excited trish said that's why you can't have nice things joe i know roxanne said thank goodness you've got it fixed um, yeah, and Joanna said, You mean you actually found a nice, honest businessman? Amaze balls, yeah, he absolutely was awesome. amazing. Yeah, so if you are, I want to find his number honestly because if you are in the Pennsylvania, Lancaster, Pennsylvania area and you need welding of any sort, I, I mean, I just I think he's just the best ever, to be honest. He was in Yelp, that's how I like originally found him. Um, but I, I was just so impressed. Uh, FMP Feel Good said, I was at the gym just now and another girl told me I was a beast on the bicep curl. Way to go. Lori said, yes, Cruz, I need my invoice. Yeah, I, I, I need to charge, send all that over to you, Lori. Curtis Hassler Welding, H-A-S-S-L-E-R. Curtis Hassler Welding, he is actually in the steam area. Of Pennsylvania. Like, like you're Amazing. Uh, Jen said I have made and mocha with no add-ins. Chris is here. 
Hey, Chris. Uh, Lori said, so happy you guys were able to visit with your precious mom. Hey, I'll Lori. tell you what, my mom is a living testimony to what functional fitness can do for you because she Truly. is 84 years old. Yesterday, um, I drove Rachel and mom and Terry. We went across the river to Poughkeepsie, to Poughkeepsie, which is where I went to college. I went to Marist College. I was super impressed with myself that I remembered how to get everywhere. Got and to see I his had apartment. Not lived there in 30 years, but I remembered where everything was. And um, I just wanted to show Rachel that side of the river. There's a lot of rich history over in the Hyde Park, Poughkeepsie, Wappinger Falls area, uh, including the first ever presidential library, which is FDR's library. And what's really cool about that, it is a national park, is that it is not only the site of FDR's presidential library, it's also the only presidential library that a president actually used a sitting president as his library while in office. And it's the site of his birthplace where he lived. And that is also where he and Eleanor Roosevelt are buried. So it was a really cool. So trip. exciting. So we take you along for our visit for that. Like, thank you so much for your patience. Obviously we're behind today. Um, Two weeks. we have, well, the thing is, is that we're living it in lifetime. It's a little challenging to like go have these camping experiences and then also release it like, you know, the next day. So we were at, like, we released a video that was from, that we taped on April 1st. We have so much amazing stuff on the horizon to share with you guys. We appreciate your patience as we have find time to edit yeah. those videos and get them out. But we do take you along for our visit of the FDR Museum and Library. And if you have an opportunity, if you're looking for someplace beautiful to like go this spring, this summer, we highly recommend that area. The Vanderbilt Museum is there. Eleanor Roosevelt's like home after um, FDR passed away. Is there just so much so history? Much stuff. So anyway, my mom came with us and she kept up with us step for step. We walked several miles. Yeah. Um, she's actively gardening and, you know, and I mean, she is all there mentally. Like yeah. she remembers everything. I'm so impressed, but I think a lot of it is she has kept active long after my dad passed away. She is out gardening, lifting rocks, moving boulders, carrying Wood. bags of rocks, carrying firewood. And I think because of that, that's just a testimony of what happens when we keep our muscle going, functional fitness, even at 84 years old, like she is not slowing down. She's a voracious reader as well. I mean, this, this month, our focus for the Two Crazy Ketos uh, family group is the pursuit of more reading. And not only is like, is she surrounded by like an amazing library, but it was like, while we were there, packages of more books that she's currently reading were, were coming in as we were visiting. So just a voracious reader, just an amazing young woman. And I'm so thankful to be able to call her my mother-in-law. I love it. Uh, Trace said, I got down on the floor and I did a yoga session this morning. It's been ages and I'm feeling pretty accomplished. Wow. Uh, let's see. Dawn said we lived in Fishkill for a couple of years. Oh, how John nice. worked for IBM high speed cabling motherboards. Yeah. Uh, IBM was huge up in that area. Rachel didn't get to Fishkill. We, we crossed over 44, 55 and wanted to take her up through the mountains where everybody goes rock climbing. Uh, we went over, uh, the bridge there, drove all the way up to Valkill, that area. And then we drove back down uh nine and i took her across the new Paltz through new Paltz through the newberg beacon bridge back up so we had a, a big roundabout we found an amazing dairy farm oh my gracious faith, faith family farms rachel I, tried to bring home a cow i totally was going to bring home a baby cow we got some amazing cheese and we hadn't even gotten to lancaster yet like tomorrow I imagine we're going to run into some amazing. Yeah, well, we're not going every place that you paid a list on because one of the places that Rachel put a list on is uh, a, a what was it? A miniature horse farm? No, we're not even going there. You'll try to bring home a horse. Come on, <laughs> come on. Matt said the pursuit of reading just finished book one for the month. I have two more that I need to Way read to for go. the month. Joanna said functional fitness. I was just talking about this today. 
It's so important. And that's the thing. Oh, Sabrina has a white bleeding heart. Oh, how beautiful. So the thing is, is that mom continues to do the things that she wants to do. So she does, we talk about that, like do the exercises. You want to be able to get up and down off the ground to like play with your grandkids, do that thing. Like do that particular movement. A lot of times we kind of have some analysis paralysis when it comes to like, how do I even get started? Begin with the activities that you would like to do. She wants to be able to plant, dig holes, like move rock. So she does those things. Yeah. And for those of you who've been with us for a while, you may know some of the things that were moved up it and was taken advantage of by two different contractors. It was appalling. Uh, for several hundred thousand dollars where they started work, didn't finish, took the money, were basically stealing materials, all that stuff. And, and it's been almost, almost four years. And uh, finally, everything is done. Um, she's got an amazing parish that she belongs to. We got to hang out with her uh, pastor for a little while and uh, a bunch of people in the church have chipped in rallied around and, and them. rallied around and got everything done and they did an amazing job my sister has really i mean she was wow. even when i was there today she's installing electric she laid all the wood floors herself and you know sometimes we think like i can't do hard things and she finally just got so frustrated by being taken advantage of like these contractors she's like you know what i'm gonna try my hand at at these things because she learned from Joe's dad, just like Joe learned from Joe's dad. And so it's, it's amazing. She's quite the crafts person. Yep. I mean, just really an amazing young lady. Chris well. said miniature horse, then is good eating. That's awful. Well, Joanna said miniature horses are my favorite. I Melinda want said, I'm sure horse math is like chicken math. I hope not. Don't you think Anthony it would be is trying to give away eggs? He called us today, where are the egg cartons? He's got so many eggs. He's got eight dozen eggs to share. Oh, today. is that how many he has? Eight dozen. So um, he also, I put it in Mighty Networks and also in the Facebook family group of Anthony getting his haircut. So you could actually see what that transformation looked like. He got it done at um, History Barber um, in, I believe it's in Coral Springs, not Parkland, but Coral Springs, Florida. Just um, amazing transformation but you get to see how long that hair had gotten. Hope said my mom finally started a keto chest subscription. We're heading across the border to pick it up tomorrow. Nice. Jen said I'm allergic to horses. I would not try to eat one. Oh my gracious. We were coming over like close to this campsite. The most gorgeous houses you like have ever seen. Just stunning. We found a place that Rachel doesn't even want to look up how much it costs to live here. You know me. As soon as we cross over into a new city, realtor.com, how much would it cost to move here? Every place we go. Gorgeous. All, it was gorgeous. But, the houses are mansions. But. Palatial. But. It smells like a barnyard. <laughs> I was like gagging. It was coming through the, um, like air even the, in the air, the heater. Oh my goodness. I was just like, Ugh. like it was so bad. And these houses, the architecture was actually just stunning, but it just smelled like poop tack. Stick. Not even like, oh, that smells like a horse farmland. lives here. There's farmland, and then there is like, is there a horsey porta potty that I'm like trapped inside? It was awful. Chris said our chickens were being stupid tonight. I accidentally spilled a lot of water, and worms came out. Grabbed six for the chickens. Nope, they're not interested. Really? So our neighbor, my mom came to like get a package that was in on my front doorstep because she's so awesome. Like when we're gone, she like helps with that. And she was like, I came out and I saw your, your chickens were in the front yard and your neighbor was like, come on guys, let's get back in the backyard. Cause I somehow they like, I want to break free. I think they were you tell Anthony to check the gate. Yes. Which he, he was doing. He okay. was like, everything's fine right now. Now you have me paranoid, but um, yeah, it was crazy. Don said Oregon dairy farms in Leola, just North of Lancaster. We lived there in half uh, the farmhouse next to it. Uh, gorgeous farm, dairy on premises. If you want fresh dairy, you don't get any fresher. Oh my goodness. The butter and the cheese uh -oh. that we have had has been amazing. 
Trey said, my mother-in-law got down on the floor every day to do exercises and to tie her shoes. It was her daily health check into her early 90s. She's a rock star. Like, definitely, like, hashtag goals for that woman. Moderation is a myth. Question, is painting and sanding considered exercise? I don't have yeah. a device to track, but trying to put it in chronometer, any help is greatly appreciated. I would say it's exercise. Absolutely. You're definitely moving your arms and stuff like that. I mean, it's not cardio, but any kind of movement is good. Like you just want to do movement. You know what I would do? Track it for like the time period. Time period. You know, like sometimes people all the time have a have a workout goal in minutes, right? They're like, I'm gonna work out for 30 minutes, and that's their goal. 30 minutes every day. Yep. So it doesn't have to be a specific amount of repetition, just like, hey, my plan is to work on home renovations for 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, something like that. Cause you're really, you're gonna get some strenuous exercise. John said, two crazy kiddos. I watched your April Fool's video at Bucky's. Almost, I was decked in. She didn't know I was gonna say that. I mean, I think you can tell by the look on my face when I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? We're gonna not have I had to crazy do something. Uh, so I watched the April Fool's Bucky. Um, you gave up a bathroom break for a premiere. Couldn't you just stand in line and watch it? and uh chat on your phone at the same time that's what i do while rachel loves to be super concentrated on, I do. on live streams I only want and, and she just wants all her she like she will hush me into another room if i even try to ask her a question while we're doing this a is premiere. true uh, but no kidding there were a hundred people on that line it, it was it, crazy. It was absolutely insane. But I get so excited because when we're in a premiere, I get to hang out with you guys. It's like a live stream. So I'm just, I'm super excited. Joe was trying to talk to me when we were premiering the video today. And I was like, mm, no. I'm trying to tell her I couldn't get in the premiere because we're having the RV fixed. Right. And I'm trying to tell her what the welder's saying. She's like, not now. Not now. I'm <laughs> like, I'm being charged by the hour here. Not now. <laughs> Okay, an extra 30 minutes. I want to talk to everybody. I hope that I can finally start eating my butterscotch stash. stash. Yes. Nice. Yes. If you didn't know butterscotch is back, we helped create that flavor. Use the link down below in the description to get 10% off. In big bags off. now. Now it's in big bags. We left a bunch with my mom. That was her first ice creamy. Miriam, Miriam would love my mom. So we decided to give her a, stash, some, a bunch of keto chow. Uh, and I know that Miriam sent some to her. But... We met a few people in my mom's parish and they're all like some people were kind of unhealthy and they really want to know about keto. So we were giving bags of keto chow to some people like try this. We wanted to leave a bunch with my mom. My sister comes into the RV this morning because I just had some stuff. Right. And then um, people gave us some stuff when we were up in um, in Elkhart. Elkhart. Who, who was it that gave Aaron. us? No, somebody else who gave us the grape. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron gave us the grape. And so I was like, well, I have some grape at home. Let me give my sister some of these. She comes, marches into the RV this morning. Neither of us will eat grape. More for me. I, guess. I know it's more for you. And, and you were being very generous because you're super protective of the I grape. I know, but I was trying to share with mom. And yet, like that's how much this, this baby loves Did she his get mama. back the black licorice? No. I think they're going to find My mom someplace. loves black licorice. I know. Um... Let's see. Sorry, I got to look over here to the side. Joanna said, I still need to talk to my neighbor about maybe getting some eggs from them. Oh, it's worth it. Dawn said, we just enjoyed Trade. our first butterscotch keto chow last night. It's delicious. I was really glad that of all of the things that we would start with, because we had with us um, already ready, like frozen, it was a chocolate toffee and a butterscotch. And Joe just did like, you know, keto chow roulette and like pulled it out. It was butterscotch first. I thought that that was like super cute. Dawn said the Goodwills are amazing in Lancaster. Scores <gasps> You're not helping Dawn. <laughs> I didn't even think about the thrift stores here. Oh, uh, <laughs> Dawn, I love you. Lisa said sometimes farmlands just have the extra ripe days. It that was, was definitely today. Right. Joanna said my brother's neighbor has a huge farm and yearly get chicken poop delivered for fertilizer. It's worse than cow poop. OMG. Maybe it but was it's chicken good poop. for the plants. I was like, and it, keep in mind, it's a cool day. Yeah. It's not summer. What is it like in summer? Yeah, but it's kind of like overcast rainy. So it's probably like holding it down. Don't heat it up. That's all, that's my thought. Do not heat that up. Sabrina said hog farms are beyond horrible to go by, especially when it's hot and humid. Blech. 
Uh, Dawn's family lived in Lancaster. For, Dawn's lived everywhere. Yeah. For eight years, and then Hershey and John worked maintenance at Hershey Park. We're actually going to be going to Hershey uh, in September after we got home from our Alaska cruise. We're going to be going to the Hershey RV show. Yeah, so if you haven't got your tickets for the Hershey RV show, check it out. If you live in that area, we're going to be there for the Alliance Rally. Oh, Carolyn said custodial slash housekeeping is an exercise in chronometer. So use that. See, oop! I there see something. I don't know why that camera turns off. It's not supposed to turn off. I think it's Let's just hit the record button. I think it's survey, so Joe. Mostly, I think it is. Um, let's see. Is it working though? Yes. Okay. Sarah said, "I grew up next to a hog farm. The smell was horrible." Really, you grew up next to a hog farm? Chris said, "Tonight, it's just Sam and I at home. Max and Ruth are on a school trip for the choir tour, wow. and the rest of the crew is at Arkies National Park, Moab, Utah." How nice! Did Ruth we actually bought? We renewed our um our our uh what should we call it? National, National Park. Park Park Pass. How was Ruth's prom? That's what I want to know. Obviously, Chris has all the deets on the prom. Most yeah, Chris said, I'm assuming the battery died. The battery didn't die. The camera is just turning off after a certain amount of time. It's just like, mm, no, just But kidding. it never used to do that. Uh, Join us in Black Rook Irish is my favorite. Really? That was my grandmother's favorite. She absolutely loved it. Anvil Creek Lodge, which is Andrew. Hello, everyone. Sorry to use this hey. account. You caught me away from my computer again. I'm glad to see you. Whatever I have to do, whatever handle we have to, to use. Joanna said, see what happens when you don't pay the bill. Yeah, I know. I heard. Hello. There you go. Hi. That should work. And for let this angle, let me see as people come in with, I don't know if I can do this easily. Do you, what do you do? Push this down? You can't press any of them. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Let's see. Don says summer liquid fertilizer is the worst. Rug row shaggy says Amber. Terry's here. Hey, Terry. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I got to remember to look here first. All right, let's see. I can't move down. John said, major victory, doing the modified egg fast, already down 10 pounds on day three. I know it's probably water weight, but this is the lowest I've been in months. My lowest weight since keto is only eight pounds away. That is so stinking awesome. Congratulations on that. Okay, we're going to try this now. We're going to switch back to our i'm so excited that microphones. it's not it's actually there we go working they're new batteries and the battery is full so i don't understand uh serena said are you guys gonna make yellowstone this year no no uh first of all you have to you have to book yellowstone way in advance so this trip originally wasn't planned until becoming brand ambassadors with alliance and it kind of threw a, a, a wrench into everything originally we were going to drive wrench. up for just a week or so to visit mom a useful tool uh now we're on the road for a month so now we're going home we'll be home uh like last couple of days of april then we'll be home for a few weeks and we have the low carb cruise so excited and then we found out that the first week of june we got to go back to elkhart let us know in the comments are you going to be on the low carb cruise with us yeah. let us know and then uh, after that, we, we've got RV Unplugged in April, where we have the uh, season series finale. Nope. May 29th no, to no, the August. The August. The you said end, April. Oh, okay. Eight, the end of August, or the beginning of August, we have that. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing any cross-country. We are going to do cross-country next year. Yeah. That, that is the plan, is to do a cross-country trip next year. 
do some meetups along the way. Probably again, same thing, go on the road for a month. But this way, instead of going north, we go west. Go west, young man. Uh, so Brady said liquid fertilizers were ranked right up there with the ripe list for sure. Ugh. Uh, Dawn said, I was going to go back to BBBE, but that keto talk calls me and Rachel every evening now. I'm telling you what, I, I mean, it's, it's delicious as much as I, I wanted to, I wanted to give mom the entirety of the keto chow this morning, but I, I but I got a share. I did get a share of it this morning because it's delicious. Uh, Serena said, make sure to book Yellowstone and Glacier National Park. People are saying, do we not have any sound? We should have sound. It says we have sound. Do, 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 do settings audio streamer x input we should have some we should be okay uh jenna said enjoy lancaster i live near there but i'm not up to driving yet How oh fun. janice will miss getting to see you but i'm glad that you're you're continuing to recover that's awesome jamie said what about a drive to ecuador let's do it just have to build a road uh, B Dog said, "Phone and internet has been out all day for me till just now." Well, I'm uh, Chris glad said, you're oh, back. "The sound is fine." Upstate, uh, upstate, upstate girl. keto girl. What's up, Lori? Said, "No cruise this year, but yes to keto palooza and the Yay! 2KK cruise." I'm so glad. Uh, what else? What else is going on? Because we're caught up on comments. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I'm just like looking forward to all the fun things we're going to see. I did kind of just take a looky loo at, because, you know, we just got an RV. Found a horse phone. We have our um, Walmart bedding on our brand new bed. Mm -hmm. Of course, the very first thing that Joe did was put on an, a mattress from brooklynbedding.com because we can't sleep without it and it's too long well I mean, if you ever see long. the mattress that comes in an rv it's this big we actually had brooklyn bedding shipped it to uh alliances factory so it was one one night it was literally no we didn't we slapped on it that no, bed. it was the it was the first night oh yeah so um night number one is what i meant um so but i was thinking you know what might be fun because we've got like just a cheap set of bedding from walmart on that and i thought you know what it might be cool to get a quilt from this Lancaster area. So I looked up some okay. of the places on the quilt, like for a quilt. Dude. We don't have that kind of money. We ain't got no Amish quilting money. Amish quilting money? Like, no way. It was like $850. I don't have that kind of money. For a quilt. Dang, I got to learn how to quilt. Do you know how to quilt? No, I don't know how to quilt. You can sew. John said, two crazy kiddos. Any chance you're going to do Route 66 next year? That would be right fun. by my house and meet up in Joplin will be awesome. You know, it's funny. I've, I've thought about something like that. I'd love to do the 66 We would store. like to get our kicks. Um, now, I don't know. I, we, it's going to depend on how things go because we are going to go. I can tell you right now, like right around Memorial Day, we will be back in Elkhart for the a National Alliance rally. But the problem is, is that right after that, like two weeks after that, you have the low carb cruise to Alaska. I'm just glad that they're not interfering because the Alliance National Rally this year is during the low carb cruise. So we can't go to that. So thankful that it's but not I would double. I would love to do that Route 66 thing. It just the problem Get is kicks. That that's a big long trip for us because what is it Chicago to California is that what it is, and so we're we're in Florida, <laughs> so that that would be like not just one way that'd be like up and all. Although this trip is kind of like up and all the way around too. So. We're making a heart. Yeah. Uh, Matt said two crazy kiddos RV mattresses and Navy bunk mattresses be made by the same company only an inch or two. Y the it's ridiculous an rv mattress is it's like don't even give us a mattress and as a matter of fact we asked the manufacturer why are you doing why, this why not find a good mattress like brooklyn bedding and and partner with them but they said because mattresses are so individual individual yeah some people like them firm some people like them soft i like them in the middle some people like them really thick some people like it's them thin. goldilocks so the the idea is put in just something super super cheap knowing that everybody is going to replace it anyway i mean we're we're actually picking up and they're like yeah you're gonna toss that immediately everyone does and i'm like 
Yeah. And I thought the same thing. I was like, why don't we just change out the mattress? But they're like, but then you would still have people throwing it out because they'd be like, this mattress is too soft or too firm. John said, if you drive to the port for Alaska, you could take 66. Okay. Tina said, oh, $800 is a good deal. Amish quilts here for a king is over $1,200. <gasps> oh, my gracious. I mean, okay, I sound very, like, like ungrateful because the work that needs to be put in to produce a quilt of that size. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Like, please, like, do not hear that I, I do not think it's worth it. I totally think it's worth it. I think I just had a really unreasonable, not a seamstress, no, I don't know what end of the needle to hold person that like, I just don't understand like, you know, how, how much that would cost. <laughs> yeah, but I'm using the other microphone. Oh, okay. So we have to just, we're just going to stay on this. To yeah. Figure out what the heck is going on with my camera? I think that that is wise. Um, okay. Okay, so Chris said, fact, Joe and Rachel have an Alliance trailer. If you watch many of the factory tour videos, there are a lot of Amish dudes that work there. So you can say it's an Amish trailer. That's very true. Uh, Tina said, oh, 800. Oh, I read that one. Girl raised in Texas said fabric is so expensive and quilts are super time sensitive. Yeah, very true. And I mean... I so this oh, Donna, is, since you replied to my email, I have not checked my email. Since so left this, this is what I'm excited about. I am excited about observing the talent. It's kind of like when we went to like the different plant stores and I know that like these plants are not for me. If I bring them home with me, I will hurt these things. So I may just be able to window shop and not bring something home. Yeah. Dawn said, same here. Too soft. I can't sleep. Yeah. I, if it's too soft and I sink in it. No. I, and then I roll in my sleep. And so like, I have to do this jump and roll. So I, I like to, I, I like, a, I like it medium to firm. Uh, Joanna said handmade quilts are originally meant to be handed down generations. Oh. I heard they would get one as a wedding present How from precious. their mom. I've heard that too. John said there has to be a timeout on that camera, but it never used to do this. No. I, I, you have to look at it's it. It's just doing it to aggravate Joe. Melinda said I, we bought a purple mattress. I love it. Nice. Um, Rush said um, Everett Coop got See his- See Everett Coop? Uh, got his Amish start as an RV sweatshop in Elkhart. Really? Wow. That's interesting. Uh, oh, Donna said she just sent it two minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> you really need to get on top of these emails, Joe. Larry said a little late for the live. Just got home from church. Okay, Larry. I'm so sad. It, like, So we just released a video today. I don't know if you saw it, Larry. But um, it's when we were in a Bucky's, Joe told me that I missed out getting to see you. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you when you are visiting in Florida. But I was heartbroken in that moment when I realized that you guys were planning on, you know, us going and getting like some lunch together at Buffalo Wild Wings and then we couldn't do it. I was like, oh, I want to see Larry. Amber said, growing up, my church had a group of little old ladies who would sew quilts at church. Oh, it was neat to see them working on them. How cool. You would have like six ladies working one time on one quilt. How beautiful is that? And like all of the love that goes into it. And then the precious person that gets to have that quilt gets to sleep beneath all of that love, yeah. all of that like artistry. And, and how much do you have to cooperate to make it all look the same? You have to make it look cohesive, right? I mean, quilting, yes, it's, you know, different colors and textures, like, you know, put together, but you have to work together to make that pattern work. Right. That's amazing. Uh, Matt said, I remember seeing handmade Amish quilts when I grew up in Indiana. Very beautiful, but extremely expensive. Yeah. Tina said, I'm binge watching your How to Start Keto series. So much info. Thanks for all this playlist. Aw, uh, thanks for watching. Chris said, it could possibly be the power supply. I've had USB adapters that didn't send the correct voltage and amperage, and they work fine for charging, but they won't run the camera for a long period of time. But the battery is full. You know what? I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to unplug the camera, and we're going to go on battery. Why don't you just wait until after this is over? I don't like this view. Okay. 
It's all my chin. Sorry about that. You don't get to find you don't get to decide where your your weight loss comes from and mine came out first in my neck for sure. So Larry said have not seen the video yet. Can't wait to see it soon. I too am looking forward to our paths crossing soon. Mary T said my sister made me a quilt for my wedding, all hand quilted, one square printed with different flowers, seed package prints, then plain squares hand embroidered flowers she is past now but what a treasure i'm so sorry for your loss mary but what a beautiful keepsake to have just knowing that she loves she you said it so took a much year for her to make it i can't even imagine the talent that is required to make that happen john got a titan mattress it's designed for big people and custom made to order is very nice if you, maybe this is somebody's like, hey, you might want to change your mattress, like because everybody's sharing about how like different mattresses that they use. Before we got our Brooklyn bedding mattress, we slept in the mattress that we had slept in 170 pounds ago for me, 120 pounds ago. I literally slept in the foxhole that was my previous body. Yeah. Like it was crazy. I was living in it and it was, it was so funny. I would literally like see Joe over the top of the mountain, but I was like living in this hole and it was like to crawl up to see Joe. It was just crazy. Uh, Donna Joe said, your neck looks amazing. Oh, thanks Donna. Joanna said, mom used to knit and sew so many skirts, mittens and hats made with love. I wish I had one now. Mom's gone. Aww. I learned crochet. I sewed one thing, a bikini and I wore it. Ooh, I like that. I was talking to mom. Actually, her mother was an amazing seamstress and um, her sister, Joe's aunt June is also an amazing seamstress. That yeah. was just a talent that like my family just did not have, unfortunately. Anvil Creek Lodge, Andrew said, the chin is fine. It's the glare from the lights at the low angle. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Sorry about angle. that. That's why I'm trying. <laughs> but maybe Chris is right. Maybe it's got something to do with, with the USB. It's like overheating. I don't know. I'll have to look at it. Super annoying. It is very annoying. Mary said, my necklace grew a full four inches. No kidding. I lost my weight in my neck first, too. Okay, I'm glad I'm not alone because I thought I'm going to be a Q-tip and not in a good way because it's just going to be my, my giant head and, like, nothing to hold up my head because my neck. It's just very strange where sometimes, like, your body changes. I remember when my feet started shrinking. My feet started shrinking. I literally was a size 11 shoe and now I'm an eight and a half because I think my feet just spread out a lot. So Diane's got a good question. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we come back. It was Diane's question, Rush said. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we're going to try to switch back to Starlink. That was weird. We had like an electrical surge. And I don't have my inverter yet. My inverter got delivered to my sister today. Right. And so uh, she's bringing it with her. If I had my inverter... Then we're going to try to switch to Starlink. So we, I'm going to go off. We'll keep talking here. We're using my phone right now. But we should. Let's try to.
Did it come back? Yep. But it probably lost everybody. Let's see. I can't tell. We should be live. Let's try. There Coming you go. Back? Look here. Do not move a single thing. Do not check stuff. Do not do stuff. We are live. Okay. <laughs> yes, we're back. Yay. Okay. Do you want this? Do you um, want these back? Jo Joseph Stauffer. Well, that's got nothing to do with if our If you touch one anything, out. you yes. are in timeout. Okay. You're sleeping in the truck. So, Chris, so sorry about that. We'll have to edit all that out later. Sorry. Uh, came back. No way you could ever lose us. No Yay! need to apologize, Joe. It's understandable. Yay, you're back. Yes, you're back. Still, we're still the sticky boogies. Hard to get rid of. I love it. I'm so thankful. Uh, Kathy said I was outside playing ball with my dog. I guess I didn't miss anything. No, just like uh, all shenanigans. That's it. Joe is sleeping in the car tonight because he will not stop messing with the cameras. Because of the glare. Okay, but that's if, that didn't make our electric go out. If one more thing happens, you're not allowed to touch the camera again. Okay. Okay. That's done. Great. Done. On on. I there shake. you go. I shake. Okay. Uh, Don said, "I hope if I can get my back worked on again, I will speed up the healing and get faster progress." Um, Mick Fillet got my Ninja Creamy Deluxe today. Nice. Uh, Kathy said, oh, I read Kathy's, um, Andy said, I'm not leaving until you guys say goodbye. Aw, thank Joanna you. Joanna said, I don't click off until the whole video clicks off. Oh, that's, Aww, so you guys are so thank awesome. Thank you. Mick Filet, what can I use to be dairy-free carnivore ice cream? Um, hmm. I would check out some of Maria Emmerich's videos. I, Maria Emmerich does not really do dairy and so if anybody is going to have a dairy-free ice cream, it's going to be Maria. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to use coconut milk that's or and coconut cream. That's I, I can tell you that that's what she's going to use. Uh, you could probably... I'm thinking... You could probably use Keto Chow Core. Yeah, that'd be great. And then try making Keto Chow Core. We've actually actually had beef that. Beef tallow. With beef tallow. Yeah. Melted beef tallow. So you're going to melt the beef tallow. You're going to use water that's warm. It's going to have to be at least 90, 95 degrees. Don't make it hot because then you destroy the nutrients. So about 90 to 95 degrees melted beef tallow. And you can make that in the Ninja Creamy. That would work. Uh, or again, you could use like uh, coconut milk, coconut cream. John said frozen for a second with sound and improvement. Uh, Craig said, we would love to meet up with you. Wifey and I live in California. We'll get wifey uh, to pay for it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Mick Filet said, awesome. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. John said, keto chakor with Wagyu Tallow sounds yummy. It, it makes a really good it shake. It does. It makes a delicious shake, especially like the chocolate one. Oh, you can't use keto chow. So yeah, um, find f I would find a dairy-free ice cream recipe, sub out whatever sugar they're going to use, and sub it out with allulose. That's what I would use. But again, keto chow core is non-dairy because it's a beef protein. Uh, Kathy said, are you in the new camper or is this the old one? This is the new one. We we sold the old one. We've been in this now for 800 miles. 15 days. And well, now it's more than that. When we left New York, we, we've driven 862 miles in the new RV because we have an odometer because we have anti-lock brakes installed on the RV. Which we're really excited about because it's just nice to know. And I'm, I'm hoping that we'll see more of that like going forward. You know, when we recently interviewed Josh, the RV nerd, we talked about how this could really help people when selling an RV or buying an RV to just know how many miles is on this RV? Because like right now, you don't know, right? I'm, I'm I mean, looking it up. it's funny because when um, we sold Eleanor, the person that purchased Eleanor has a documentation of all of our trips because we've been on two crazy campers. So, you know, everywhere that Eleanor has been, every update and and also like the step-by-step -step process of, of putting everything on Eleanor. But for most people, you don't have any idea like where all this camper has been. So I think it's kind of fun you know, to see that. It's not getting the odometer. 
Mimi, I think because the brakes turned off because we've been parked for a while. Mimi said I made ice cream with whole eggs and bitter. Uh, check ketogenic woman for her egg fast ice cream. Neat. Uh, Exposing Darkness said, I wonder if Carrie Brown has a dairy-free ice cream recipe. I don't know. Possibly. Carrie is definitely the ice cream queen. Yes. Uh, but I, she usually is using heavy cream and, and milk. Um, let's see. Chris said, I looked through the incoming message. Couldn't find one with Jesse open. Uh, so, okay. So uh, he was just responding to somebody. Um, that's it. We're, we're caught up. Nice. So... Mick Filet said, I can't wait to see your Too Crazy Camper release. I'm very excited about all of the videos that we have upcoming. There's so much, there's just so much cool stuff that we have taped in the last two yeah. weeks. Like crazy, amazing, fun stuff. So, I mean, I'm going to have to just like tie Joe to his chair for video editing. Joanna said, are the new owners keeping Eleanor's name? I would. I have no idea. I have no idea. We didn't. I don't even think we told them their name. Uh, oh, they've seen all of the videos. I okay. was. <laughs> Mimi said, whole eggs. Oh, and butter. Diane said, how about losing more fat after reaching goal weight? So, and, oh, so you want to lose more fat. Oh, so I think Diane had a question when we went out. We were talking about losing. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, but she was talking about like losing, like where can you lose um, different parts of the fat from your body? And unfortunately, you really can't control that. I, I don't see it. If you're looking for localized toning, your best bet is going to be strategic exercises to tone that area of your body. Like that, that's where if you're like, hey, I'd like to see some more definition in my arms, in my legs, your best bet is going to be exercises that tone Tons. that specific thing. But unfortunately, you can't control where the fat but comes off. But you can't control where the fat comes off. Now, I will say as much as um, that is aggravating to some extent, especially, you know, for me, I always wanted to like get rid of my thighs, like not have... Um, fat like fat there but there then there was other areas on my body like uh, on my back that I never had eyes on and then I realized that fat came off of there and so I was pleasantly surprised but it wasn't me directing it it just it just came off yeah it's funny because Rachel sometimes you know when she was heavy she would come to me this is TMI but you're gonna yell at me but she would come to me and say like lift my brat back strap up and tuck the back fat back fat in. into the bra strap you're right she still comes to me only there's nothing there i think it's just a habit i think it's just a habit like, tuck, there is no back fat there. i would always come to joe and be like can you check the back of my hair do i have a bald spot i, I don't know if am i don't the have only, a bald spot anymore but you still ask am i the only person that would like come their hair and ask their partner, do I have a bald spot in this area? And before I had tons, before I started like upping my protein and eating this way, I had terrible patchy hair. And so now I still will ask him. Yeah. Cause it's like muscle memory, but he's like, no, Rachel still no. And it is the same I'm thing. Glad to do it. I would tuck in my, my back fat around my bra strap and help him spot. Okay. So, and as far as losing more fat after reaching weight goal, that's why we don't really believe in having a goal weight. Cause it's going to look different than you're envisioning. Look more to goal size. There you go. And, and yes, in the past we did talk about, okay, we really cared about weight, but over the years we've kind of changed our opinion on it because number one, like that number it doesn't tell you the whole story. I think that we try to live up to somebody told us we should weigh 130 pounds. Somebody told us we should weigh 200 pounds. And I, I say this a lot. I would love to look like the rock, but to look like the rock, he's not 190 pounds. I have pounds. to be willing to weigh about 70 pounds more than I the problem is, as somebody who was obese and weighed over 300 pounds, I don't want to weigh with the rock weighs, even though the rock is like solid muscle. Like, I don't want to weigh that. I don't want to see that number. And that is my issue because I was obese. So the better thing to do is looking at a goal weight. If you're looking at yourself and going, I have a lot of fat, 
then that means that you're losing weight and you're looking at a number, you might be losing muscle or something. So focus more on a goal size. Like how do you feel? We talked about at one point, like Rachel stayed the same weight for a year. But when she got a DEXA scan, she had learned she'd lost like four or five pounds of muscle. But she stayed the same weight. But technically, that means she's le- she was less healthy now, or this was a while ago, than she was previously. But she stayed the same weight. Because she lost muscle, that means she gained fat. So that's why that number really doesn't mean stuff. Well, I think you have to start seeing like, okay, what is what is an outfit? What is a look? Like being happy with the way that you look. I never did. Now we've thrown out the scale. I do not weigh myself anymore, but I never did pick that like that number in the sky, like 115 pounds that everybody said I was supposed to weigh. Never achieved that. Yeah. I never, I never saw that number on a scale, not ever. Yeah. And so do I feel like I'm a failure because I never saw that number? No, I don't like, and I have to just enjoy clothes. That is something that I I have learned to appreciate is different clothes and also appreciate that. Like, no, I cannot wear every style. I don't necessarily look good in a particular style just because it's in, you know, hot and in trendy right now. I have to find what style works with my body shape and just wear that. Um, For instance, something that I've always really loved is that peasant style look, like the peasant top, um, like a linen top. I never have found a shirt that looks good on me. That is that style. So I had to just finally figure like, you know what? I can appreciate this particular style of, of shirt on somebody else, I just can't make it work for my body. Yeah. And that's okay. That's okay. I can find things that I do like to wear. Uh, Robin said, I'm going to try to make your dehydrated meat crisps. What are they called? Take backpacking. Meat, meat thins. Uh, keto backpacking is tough. So we have two different things. We have the meat thins, and then we have what we call carnivore crisps. Meat, meat thins is literally like steak them. Okay. You're going to take steak. Um, I think we may even have some. I keep moving this because he's going to sit down and swat it. Hey. No. Of so course you would never do that. Get these. So, and there's lots of brands. What you're going to look at is the ingredients. And if you can see that. The ingredients are beef. beef. Don't get ones that have a bunch of fillers. And that's it. So you're going to take these. I'm going to open these. We bought these to make like Philly cheese sticks. Okay. So what you're going to do is when you open this up, you're going to get this, right? Just like that. You're going to lay these. There's actually two in here. Don't try to separate them. Don't separate them. them. You're going to take this. You're going to lay it out on your dehydrator. Put some salt on it. Put them in your dehydrator for about four hours. At 155 to 167 degrees. I usually do at 167 degrees. It's for whatever the highest your dehydrator Four to go. five hours. Okay. That's one version. They're going to come out more like a cracker and they can be a little crumbly. Um, Rachel likes to keep them in the refrigerator because it holds together better. Or you can make our carnivore crisps, carnivore chips. What those are is you take any kind of beef. You can even do chicken or... Um, lamb, you're going to slice it super thin, like one to two millimeters, no more than that. You're going to put that in your dehydrator for about four to five hours at 167 degrees. And that will become the thinner you get it, the better it's going to be. It becomes like a potato chip, almost like a Lay's potato chip, but it's beef and it's delicious. Make really sure good. you salt it heavily salted. It. it helps dry it out more, but it gives it really, really good flavor. And that is great for if you're keto backpacking. Another thing that's good for keto backpacking, if you want, is carnivore bars and also keto bars. Or keto bricks, rather. Um, Chris, yeah, just a reminder, if you, depending on how strict you are with carnivore, sweeteners technically are not carnivore, but some people are okay with sweeteners. Um, Jesse said, oh, I'm sorry, that's just talking to someone. Marion wants to know, what mattress did you guys get? I'm thinking about replacing mine. So we highly recommend brooklynbedding.com. They are a supporter and sponsor of this channel. But we just like them. But 
honestly, that's because we really like them. I mean, so we got one for our old RV. They also have another company. It's their sister company. It's really Brooklyn RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. They just have different divisions because they market to different people. So we got an RVmattress.com mattress. We loved it so much that we actually got the same exact mattress for our house. We got the Aurora Lux, which is one of their upgraded ones. The only one they have that's big better would be the Sedona Elite. And the difference is, is that one is much more plush and luxurious. The Aurora Lux is available in soft, medium, or firm. and um, But it's got a cooling top on it. That's why which we I really like. like it. <laughs> And but they also have other ones. They have plain ones, middle of the road ones. They have any size. They'll custom size them. But we liked it so much, we bought it for our house. And then of course we got one for this RV. What we like about them is you have a ten year warranty. You get a hundred and twenty sleep night guarantee, which means you can try it if you don't like it. Call them up, say hey, it's too firm. Uh, they will send you a topper for it if it's too soft. Uh, they can do things like switch it out for you. The only thing is, is they do ask you to give it some time, make sure, let it break in, but they'll change it out or even give you your money back. It is free shipping within the 48 contiguous states. They're made here in Arizona. Uh, what else about them that we like about them? I mean, so many different things. We so have. many it's things. Just a great company. And I really liked how they came. It was easy for easy us to, to put in because it comes in a box and you just put it in there. Shrink wrapped to Roll the max. Out. Yep. Adam said, since I reversed my gastric bypass, I'm trying to find where I stand with my electrolytes. I get uh, tenty muscle impulses, especially when I lay down. Any ideas? Could be sodium. Mm -hmm. Could be your sodium. Uh, uh, Matt said, totally keto day today. Too mad by having a keto breakfast and a carnivore dinner. Totally winning today. Plus, we walked six miles and rode wow. two best roller coasters in Disney World. How fun. Uh, Joanna said, I'm losing, but not my belly. My face is thinner, but I lost weight. Okay. My ribs and back, my belly is the last place to lose and first to gain. And that's normal for a lot of people. For a lot of people. A lot of people lose their weight top down. Uh, Jesse said, is there any way to get rid of the fat around your stomach due to perimenopause weight gain? It's frustrating. It is frustrating. Um, I do like enjoy you know, doing some exercises for those problem areas. Like that, that is something, if you're just trying to tone that area, that's the way that I can be strategic and kind of like direct some activity in that space. Jamie said, I've grown so much hair. I had to cut my bangs last night because the new growth is more than my original hair. Now I will say that my hair does not grow like Anthony's. Anthony has like amazing hair, that grows like really thick and lush. The only hair that is thick and amazing for me is like my mustache hair and the hair on the tops of my toes. It's like crazy. Joanna said, Rachel is my height. I was 135 in high school. It was a good weight. I think 115 on Rachel would be too thin. Thanks for saying that because I was kicking I myself. Would agree. I was kicking myself though forever because there was just no way I was even getting in the ballpark of that. Uh, Robin wants to know, thanks guys. Does anyone know, do you thaw the steakums or you put them in dehydrate, put them in frozen, put them in frozen. Usually what I'll do is I'll put them on the counter. I'll lay them out. I let them sit for three or four minutes just to soften. And I'm only doing that to get the salt to stick to it. Otherwise what happens is, is it's it gets frozen sticky. solid. And when you put the salt on, it just bounces everywhere. So but I want them like a little wet. You can also maybe just take a little bit of water and kind of like a mister, but yeah, no, put them in there frozen. Don't try to deal with them thawed. Yeah. Cause they get too messy. Trish said the steakum thins have saved me many days when I just needed a quick, easy meal. Oh, oh yeah. Glad. We'll take them, lay them out, put a little bit of cheese on them. Make, Rachel make, makes sandwiches with them. I make sandwiches with them and they make a fantastic pizza. If you're just like, I want a crust to my pizza, having those made and then like putting some toppings on top of that, it's delicious. So, oh, so Marianne said, I knew about Brooklyn. I was just wondering of your choice. So our choice is the Aurora Lux. I would recommend the Aurora Lux or the Sedona Elite. I was actually going back and forth with which one to put into this RV because we do have the Aurora Lux at home. Uh, the, Sedona, the Sedona Elite is a much more luxurious one. The reason I did not pick that one for here is what it was an inch thicker than our current mattress. 
and like you we have to worry about like jumping up and also like the way it was going to tuck in because we have like a curve over our head this one not so much as our old rv but i was worried about that yeah knowing now after being in here i probably would have gotten the sedona elite just because it's a more luxurious match. well i'm like you i was surprised i i'm so used to having a curve to like a, the head yeah I, had, I would get up and bump my head because and it's not we don't have that here the mattress is like our mattress is like 11 inches thick right um let's see anything else jesse said do you put them into the head rooter with parts from hipper on them no no just lay them right on the wire racks joanna said i know i'm losing because i've gone down that's awesome. Uh, she's gone down a size. Mary said, I agree on the 115 being too thin. I'm the same as Rachel height. And even when I was 20 and skinny, I weighed 120 and I have teeny bones. Robin, thanks for the $1.99 super Thanks, Robin. Chat. Okay. We are going to get more. Oh, she, and that's her first super chat on a live Aww, stream. Thank you. Welcome, Robin. Thank you. Okay. How tall is Rachel? I'm five foot seven and a half. Very well known for wanting my half. I grew my half and I want my full half. Okay, we're going to get off, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us during the technical so difficulties. So sorry about that. We will be back live on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Where are we going to be? I don't know. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Actually, we may not be live because we're supposed to be on the road on Monday. We will be alive. We, we will. So... Depending on what we do and where we leave from, well, we're leaving here on Sunday. I don't know where we're going yet. I haven't made that decision. So we're going to try to be live, um, but we may be pre recorded. But there will be something on Monday at 10 a.m. How's Please that? Please let me know in the, the description. I mean, not description, but in the, in the, after this live is over, let me know in um, the comment section, in Mighty Networks, and in the Facebook want to meet up here in Lancaster just so I have an idea if you have any ideas if you live in this in this area and you have some suggestions yeah, is Mighty Networks. So of send us where Mighty Networks. we could meet I up. I want to do a buffet because this way it's good for everybody and the buffets here are super cheap but, they're between like 15 and 20 dollars 25 dollars well 25 that's if that's we're doing lunch that's super cheap compared to the brisket and stuff at, at restaurants yeah, and stuff like that that's would be a cheap. better and and, and they can usually accommodate larger parties